With equipment financing, what equipment financing is, is uh, basically everything that you need to operate. So anything that's operational. So if it's for a restaurant, if you're opening a new restaurant, then um, everything that goes inside the restaurant is equipment. Okay, so that means the tables, the dishes, the POS system if there's a charge, the spoons and forks, um, the decorations, the pictures, the carpet, um, the chairs, everything. If it's, a, if it's an office like this, equipment financing would be this, um, you'd be able to finance the table, all the chairs, the pictures on the walls, the art, everything. The TV, the computers. Inside of an office, the computer, the desk, the um, partitions. Um, if it is a limousine company, the limousines are equipment financing. Oh, like, um, sorry, like a plumbing company, like the vans and uh, all that. The vans, the um, the tools, the everything. Uh, so That's like all like equipment. Shop, you guys will all of the tools. If it's a tire shop, for instance, all of the, the tire um, uh, uh, equipment right. that you need, all the racks, all the everything that you need inside your business that makes your business operate is equipment financing. Uh, we can finance the software. We can finance the programming. Um, so uh, if it's a technology company, this is new in the last year. We can now also finance the actual software and finance the programmers that they're using to make their um, apps or whatever. That can be financed and that's new. And so, um, yeah, so we can definitely find the software and programming. But it has to trick about equipment financing is they're not, um, the finance company is not only gonna look up um, you as the company, but they're also gonna look up the company you're financing your equipment through. So if the company you're financing your equipment through is some rinky ding friend, no. If you were a production company, the cameras that you need to buy, the tripods, the lighting, all of that can be financed through equipment financing. Okay? Okay, so what's awesome is if you were a 99 cent store, all of the shelves you need to put the, the stuff on and your registers and all that stuff and the refrigerators that goes in the store. That's all equipment financing. So if someone needs to remodel, the first thing I'm talking to you about is equipment financing. We have a special loan for companies that have been open for two years or more. And it's very, very specific. They will only remodel a first location or a third location. If you're going to expand into a second location, they won't do the loan because you have no experience having two locations. Um, but if you're in your current location, you've been open two or more years, we can use, we can do half construction and half equipment. So that means we had, for instance, last year, a pharmacy that needed to remodel. And so we did all the shelving inside the pharmacy uh, uh, we redid you know we did their decorations in the pharmacy and then um, half for construction costs we also have a daycare um, that we uh, did equipment financing for she needed to remodel her entire daycare the in-home daycare she wanted to expand it so half the construction costs the company was already open for eight years half the construction costs and half of the equipment the construction cost can't be more than equipment. So that's one of the loans that we have, okay? When it comes to um, equipment finding, also think about salons. You guys are getting a few POS systems into those salons. The salons are easy um, comeback for, hey, do you need any blow and to update your blow dryers, your flooring, your, you know, you need some more nail machines. All of that is equipment financing. 
So with that lease payment, you can have a 6, 12, 24, 48, or 60 month, or even as much as a 72 month lease. What's exciting about um, equipment financing is that you basically get to write off up to $100,000 a year because it's a lease. So you technically don't own it. This is good for a business because they get to write that equipment off and upgrade the equipment when it gets old. So, you get, so it's big for tax write-offs and big to um, be able to upgrade later. Also, they get, uh, I said tax write-off. In addition, the lease, they own the equipment after the term of the lease. Uh, your very last payment is $1 and then you own the equipment. Okay. Something else is, so that's the $1 buyout. Okay, so let's talk about a fair market value um, lease. So a fair market value lease is structured to give the leasee the lowest monthly payments. The leasee will make smaller monthly payments and has the option to buy the equipment at the end of the lease or its current market value. So I actually skipped um, one. So they can, so for instance, let's say you bought um, these tables in this conference room. So at the end of the term of your lease, let's say you only did a six month lease. So this stuff is only six months old. So the fair market value of it after six months is whatever the fair market value is. You know, whatever it's selling for everywhere else, used. Okay, um, and then I explained already what the $1 buyout is, and then you also have a sale lease back. Now, here's something, if you have someone, now this is very important, guys, if you have someone that just got through um, doing their whole store, and they just put their life savings into their whole store, and they go, I wish I met you six months ago, we hear that all the time. Hey, well, um, if you'd like to get your money back out of the store, we could do a sale lease back against everything that you already bought. So a sale lease back is uh, basically everything that they bought, as long as they have the receipts and it's not more than six months old, we can give them cash and then basically they're selling their um, stuff inside the store to the company and then leasing it back to them.